All right, on tonight's episode of Python Poppy, we're back inside our regenerative AI course, and we're still going over the implementation of our vector databases being implemented with the pine cone. So let's have a look at what we're going over tonight. So we did take a lot of notes, and we did get far in the, what we were going to implement. So let me show you exactly what we did. Last thing we went over, I showed you we did beat our imports. See here from lane chain. I did have to change a lot of these. I'll show you any uh, actual code that we wrote. I had to update them to the now. To the, uh, to the newer imports, but I'll get there when we get there. So the next thing we will do is create a PDF folder using the MakeDir or the MKDIR in our command terminal. Let me show you that. So this is the file we created here, the PDF S. And then uh, next we will get the PDF that we will upload. Now he did give us a, a, a file that he wanted us to upload from a website, but I found out that it was just any old file that he was uploading. It could be any one we wanted to use, so I decided to use a Game of Thrones file here. As you can see, this is the Game of Thrones book one. This is the entire book one. And actually, I had to uh, install a new interpreter on my uh, VS Code to, be, to read PDFs. So as you can see here, if I open it up, it'll be the entire book one of the Game of Thrones, page one of 755. And you know, if I wanted to read it, I can actually just go down and uh, read the entire book from my VS Code. So that's something, uh, and it has nothing really to do with the uh, actual code, but yeah, that's something that I did. So I'm using the, uh, the Game of Thrones book one as our PDF file, and we can move forward with that now that we know that. Uh, so we can skip all of that. We will Google the website attention. This is the one he wanted us to download here, so we bypassed all of that and brought in our own file. Once we upload our PDF to our PDF file, we can read it into our code. This is how we would do that, the PDF directory loader, PDFS. Then we would uh, assign PDFS loader. Uh, we will uh, pass the perimeter of PDFS. Then we will load the loader. See here, loader.load. Now by using this particular code, we will be able to read our PDF. Next, we can collect this data, which will be converting into vectors, which will make up our embeddings that will get stored inside of our vector database, which is pinecone. So this is how we're going to do that. Data equals loader.load. Now we can see a clean version of our data. If we use this here, the data in index is zero. Keep going further down. And it's pretty, pretty much just breaking down everything we're going to do with our code, our data. Once we have it over here, you can see text.chunks. This is going to help us break our, all our data up into chunks. As I showed you, it was a page one of 755 pages. And if you know the Game of Thrones, it's a huge book. It's a huge file. So we use a text splitter. This is the recursive character text splitter. Chunk size equals 500. Chunk overlap equals 20. Now, the overlap, I'm not sure exactly what that's for. When I use it initially, it overlaps some of our data by 20 spaces. And then I uh, ran it without it, and uh, it was just running smooth and concurrent. So I'm not sure exactly why we have it or what the benefit of that would be in the, in the live code. But, yeah, he has 20, so I just left it at 20 for now. I did try different ways, and they all worked. And this, they worked better than the 20, but I guess it's all specific to what we're doing. So anyway, like I said, we have the uh, text chunks and uh, equals a text splitter dot split documents data. This is how we're going to split all of that data up, our huge data. Again, like I said, it's the whole book one of Game of Thrones. It's a huge book. It's a lot of data. Then we have text chunks. And then we're going to index in the text chunks with uh, zero, seeing that we're going to go into the first place of text chunks using this here. And then we're going to print that out. So I actually printed that out, and then I uh, printed out the text chunks index zero with the page content shown was actually on that page. And it's supposed to be, oh yeah, I did the rest on this page here. So yeah, I actually did a, so this is the same exact thing on this page here. This is just the page that I'm taking notes on. And this one is strictly cold. And as you can see, this is the, up, the upgraded imports. I told you we had to upgrade to actually get them over because they weren't going to work and we didn't upgrade them. So everything got co converted to link chain community, basically. And then we uh, went down here. Let's see. So it's exactly the same. But this one I went further. You can see here that we have, uh, I went into the text chunks zero index, but I actually did it one, two, and three. So I got the first four pages, and I actually did them one by one to see exactly what they would look like. So let's do the first one. This is the first one here. This is the first one here. This one is just the uh, zero index. So you can see this is what it brought back for us with the zero index. It got us, is this the zero index? It's a lot. It seems like a lot for zero index. So, yeah, it got us back all of, okay, that's why, because it's, it went crazy at the top. So, it got us back the book title and all of that stuff here. And it looks like it, I don't know why I printed it crazy like that. So, maybe this is not a good representation of the, uh, no, nah, it's not a good representation. So, let's do the index one here. So, this is the index one, as you can see. Oh, they all came back crazy like that. I don't, 
they didn't print like this originally. They were all they were all structured much better before I started the video. Now for some reason they seem all out of whack. I'm not sure why. But as you can see here, basically the gist of it is you can see with our text chunks, we got back the uh, book title and we got back the prologue and we got back all the chapters of the book. So they are 73 chapters of the book. Well, this isn't here. I think the next one is going to be the next one. It's going to be the full. Let me see. Yeah, so we got 73 chapters of the book. And then I think this, this is the next start of the uh, next page here with the houses. Let me see. This is the uh, fourth index. Let me see. So it looks like this one came out the best. The fourth index. Okay, yeah. So basically, that's what it does. The text chunk, that's what it does. It takes all of our huge data and breaks it up into bits and returns it for us in a more... Uh, manageable fashion instead of trying to return a whole book we bring it back in chunks and we actually manage it that way and we can index into it yep so that's basically what we did for the night like i said we are going to be using game of thrones as our uh, pdf file and of course i will keep you posted every step of the way moving forward but for now this is the python poppy you guys stay gucci